Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie. Um, we are this week in Mexico, shockingly, giving the title of my channel is Melanie Loves Mexico. Um, we are here for Christmas. Today is Christmas. Got my Santa shirt on. Merry Christmas to... Um, we are staying this week at the Grand Serenas Riviera Maya, which is a four to four and a half star property located in the Acamal area. Um, we have been here for since December 18th. Today, as I just said, is the 25th. Um, so I'll just do a little room tour for you and kind of give you a, a few little details of the resort as we go through. So we're just coming in by the front door here. Um, we have a closet area, iron and ironing board. There's a luggage case in here, which we didn't use. Lots of hangers. Um, safe more storage coming into the washroom here it is quite large um everything in here works really well hello again um they give you lots of towels there's a huge tub which we have not used um, toilet area nice rain head shower they don't provide all they provide is shampoo and shower gel there's no body lotion there's no conditioner that seems to be a thing that's pretty common in resorts and i hate it because i we try to do carry on and having to add that extra stuff in there. I have a lot of hair, so I definitely need conditioner for sure. Um, but yeah, everything's worked fine. Full length mirror. Coming in through here, we have the mini fridge. Um, one weird thing about the mini fridge, it is restocked daily. It hasn't been restocked yet today. You can see I have my little tip money in there. Um, they don't give you, at our first day they gave us three normal kind of little sizes of water, bottles of water. That was it. Um, after that, they bring you, sorry, I'll come back in here, this giant jug of water. So that's really not a big deal. We've just been refilling the little bottles of water, but it's just kind of something to keep in mind. Um, bar area. Um, I am here with my husband. We did get two double beds. Um, when we checked in, we asked about changing and the bellboy told us, don't worry, someone's just gonna come to this room and change your bed. I really didn't see how that was possible and clearly it wasn't because no one came to do that. Honestly, it's fine. I mean, we, we've we been married for a while, we sleep together in the same bed all the time, so it's really not a huge deal to have two or just sleep in one, but it would have been nice to have a king bed, obviously. Um, big TV, quite a few English channels which have come in handy because the weather this week has been not the greatest. Um, we had the beginning of the week was amazing weather. Now it's kind of cloudy and rainy and a little chilly. Same weather as everywhere in North America, it seems. Um, the room is clean daily. It was just cleaned. It is a bit of a mess in here. I apologize because we are kind of, we're leaving tomorrow. So I'm kind of trying to get organized here. Cute little towel art. Um, very big room, very spacious. We have this huge like couch area over here. So if you have kids, um, you're traveling with three people in a room, this room could accommodate a lot of people. Um, little desk area, which is cute. Sitting area and the balcony. I will go out here and show you, but it is not a nice day as far as looking at the view. It's a little cloudy, as I said, not raining right now. Um, that is one of the pools here. So we have a really great location, super close to the pool, a bit far from the beach. It is a really, really big property. So um, just overall my thoughts on the property. Um, we chose this resort. We actually brought my mother-in-law on her first trip to turn this around. Um, so we needed to find something that she could get a single room and the price wasn't completely out of range. Um, we... If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that my husband and I usually pick something that's adults only or that has an adults only component to it. This resort doesn't have that and there are definitely a lot of children here. Um, but you know what? Overall, it is really big and I haven't felt, lost my light, I haven't felt like rushed or crowded or it is full. Um, and as I said, tons of kids, tons of families, but it really hasn't been that big of a deal for us. Um, I read a lot of complaints about the food at this resort. I, the, it's fine. I mean, it's not, you're not going to come here and be like, oh, this is the most amazing food I've ever eaten. 
but it's also certainly not the worst food I've ever had at a resort. Um, the a la carte restaurants are quite nice. Um, the buffet for breakfast is quite good. Um, they have a lot of options for snacks and you can get pizza during the day, like full pizzas. Um, there's a lot, a lot of food options. So I wouldn't worry too much about the food, to be honest. Um, I do think the a la carte restaurants for dinner are definitely worth doing. Um, they are all reservation based, so you do need to book those with your concierge. We did that on our first day. Um, we were technically entitled to three a la carte dinners. Um, I did ask for four and I did get the fourth, so it doesn't hurt to ask, you know, what, what harm. If you're friendly and you're nice and, you know, why not, you know, give it a try. So we've done the Brazilian Steakhouse, the Italian, the Thai, and we're doing the Japanese tapenyaki table tonight. So I've actually, I've enjoyed all of those. I think um, definitely worth doing the a la carte. The buffet is not the greatest for dinner. It was lovely last night though. They did their Christmas dinner last night and it was, it was quite nice. Um, the staff here are very, very good. Um, I haven't seen a lot of people tipping. Um, I see way less tipping here than we normally do. And I don't know if that's just because it's a family resort and that's not normally what we do. Um, but we have been tipping, not like, you know, insane amounts, but I, I feel like the service we've gotten has been really exceptional. I like on the nicer when it doesn't look like this outside, um, the nicer days at the swim up bar, we have been treated incredibly well. Like we never have an empty glass in front of us, which is a problem sometimes, especially when you're here with your mother-in-law and she doesn't drink. So that's been interesting. Um, so yeah, tip if you can. I mean, I've always said if it, a lot of people save up for their vacation and this is what they can afford. They really can't afford to tip very much and that's fine too. Um, but you can, you know, even if you do a dollar here and there, it's really, really appreciated and it does, uh, the service does increase quite a lot. We have been doing these little um, tip bags. I put money in here with some candy. We got candy canes in there. These are my last two. Uh, I did, it's not my idea. I totally stole that from a YouTube person. Um, but I think even if they don't want the candy, it kind of makes you stand out a little. You know, you're like suddenly the candy lady that has the bags of candy and they see you and they're like, oh, they recognize you. Um, and some of them have seemed honestly so touched by it. Like I, I, it's a silly bag of candy with like a $5 bill in it. But some of them have actually been, you can tell that it really meant a lot to them. So it doesn't cost much to make them, obviously. Um, just random candies that you can get at Bulk Barn or uh, Costco or wherever. Um, Target, like you can get them wherever. And it's a bit hard when you're doing carry-on. I will say that. I'll be happy I'm not bringing them home. But yeah, just a kind of a nice little touch. Um, other than that, I, I like I've enjoyed this resort. We've had a good time. Um, as I've said, we do only. So I don't know that I would personally... My husband and I would come back here alone, but I wouldn't say we wouldn't either if the price was right. I, it's, you know, the beach is lovely. The pools are great. I, I would be amazing if they did like maybe one half of their pool because they have two kind of mirror image pools on each side of the resort. It'd be really cool if they did half of those as adults only. That would be nice, but you can't get everything, can you? Um, so I think that's pretty much it from here. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I would be happy to answer them. Um, I would love to do a walking tour of the resort, but with the weather the way it is, it's probably not that likely unless it's super nice tomorrow morning. I'll try to go out then and do it. Always leave those to the last minute, which is not a good idea. Um, as far as walking the resort, it is quite big. They do have shuttles. They don't run super, like, they don't seem to run like every two minutes or anything, so, but they do have them. Um, what else? Oh, the spa is amazing. Do the spa. If you are here as a adult couple or a girl's trip, the spa is definitely worth doing. But yeah, I think that's it for me from here. Christmas to everyone. Santa. Um, and my next trip, we are actually going to Nashville in January. I don't think I'm probably going to do videos of that just because city trips are harder to do. Um, and then I'm going to Cuba in February. So a departure for Melanie Loves Mexico. Melanie is going to Cuba, which I have been to before, but it predates my YouTube uh, channel. My hair is a disaster. Okay, 
that's it for me. Thanks everyone. Again, please feel free to leave your comments below, any questions about this resort or Mexico in general, and I'd be happy to answer. Thanks again. Happy holidays.